Hey, so I was really curious, what would happen to Airbnb businesses if the value of homes went down instead of up every year? Uh, and would these businesses be crushed? Would their cash flow evaporate? Um, and so what I am doing here is I'm using our uh, Airbnb cash flow calculator tool that we developed. It's, it's a free tool and you can uh, go grab it with the uh, link in the description of the video below and play around with it yourself. But I wanted to answer this question for myself. I'm curious what will actually happen, how big of an impact uh, a change in home prices could actually have for these Airbnb hosts. Uh, so let's dive in. So what I did here was uh, filled out this uh, cash flow calculator, assuming that you have a really high performing property uh, where you're doing all the work yourself. So you don't have a property management firm, you're managing it all. Um, you don't have any staff, you know, you're handy enough to do a lot of repair work yourself. You're taking care of the property, doing the lawn care, snow removal, all of that. Um, so we kind of have kind of minimum expenses here uh, with uh, pretty good rental rates um, coming in. And so I think this is a pretty uh, uh, rosy picture here to start out with that I'm starting out with that I'm going to show you. And and we also have here uh, that there is a... Uh, increase in rental rates each year of 7%. We're saying that we're going to be able to increase our cleaning fee that we charge by 8% a year, that our occupancy rates are going to go up by 10% a year. Um, and so there's a lot of positives here that we're assuming as our base case. And uh, I'll show you down here once you take a look at um, the cash flow. So the, the cash flow of this property, um, you know, over the five-year period, um, is, is really positive. And then we also assume a change in property value. So um, we're assuming this is a $250,000 property that's going to increase, we're expecting it to increase at 8% per year, uh, which, you know, is, is pretty conservative compared to what we've been seeing the last couple of years with some 20 and 30% increases in some property values. And so um, the question is, how much of that is really what's driving the success of these Airbnb hosts? Or um, is it really, uh, can, can you withstand, can the businesses withstand a drop in home value? So um, what I did, uh, we can see here, when you add the cash flow plus the change in property value, you can see these numbers quite, um, quite impressive. So I'm just going to add these up together over the five years. And we are assuming nearly $200,000 in cash flow plus the appreciation of the value of the property uh, with the assumptions that we have right now. So almost $200,000. So let's go back up here and let's say the market changes. You know, interest rates are rising. Let's say property values go down a bit and you're not going to be able to raise, uh, if, if property values are not going up, you're probably not going to be able to raise rents either. Um, and so let's, uh, let's just change this to zero. We don't think uh, rates are going to increase anymore. And we're probably not going to be able to increase our cleaning fee either, let's say. Let's say we're, we're still getting positive reviews and maybe our occupancy uh, is, is still going up. So we're increasing our occupancy over the five years. Um, but then here's the big thing. Let's say instead of an 8% expected increase in the value of the property, we make this a negative 5% which really, given how much properties have gone up over the last several years, a, a retraction of just 5% doesn't seem that unreasonable. Um, but let's see what that does to our numbers. So, wow, a huge, huge impact. So you still get, with those numbers, you still get some positive cash flow. Um, but again, remember, you're doing all the work. You're not hiring anybody. You're really, you're really having to work for this cash flow. But the change in property values here um, eats up all that cash flow plus some. So over that five-year period, you actually the cash flow plus the change in property value is actually negative sixteen thousand uh, compared to what we just saw of nearly two hundred thousand um, dollars. So let's just let's just say, boy, these property values have really gone up a lot lately. So um, maybe what if we what if we had a, a big crash of just 15 percent, which still wouldn't be as much as what we saw in 2008 uh, housing crisis. But let's say it was 15 percent. What would this look like? Now we're losing 
$93,000 uh, just on this one property alone. So um, when we think about how well an Airbnb business is doing, um, just keep in mind that a huge, huge portion, you can operate it as well as you possibly can, but if the value of the property is dropping, you can't operate it well enough to possibly uh, overcome uh, the, the potential uh, negative impact of that change in property value. Um, and likewise, you can operate it really poorly. <laughs> we could have a lot of Airbnb hosts that are operating really poorly right now uh, that, um, that still are, feel like they're making a bunch of money because the value of the property is going up. So that was what I was hoping to set out to find and, and see that, yeah, in fact, it is a huge impact. It could have a huge impact. So we'll be keeping a close eye on um, property values over the coming months. Uh, so uh, if you have any questions, I'd love your feedback. What do you think is going to happen with property values? Uh, are, is the Airbnb host market going to have a shakeout when um, potentially home prices uh do drop or even just stop going up for a little while. Um, what's going to happen? Are the best operators going to still be able to figure out how to uh, make a good profit in this business um, and have it make sense? So leave us a comment and uh, go grab this template and play around with it for yourself. Uh, it's free and the link uh, to, to the template is down in the video description below. Thanks.